National Council Against Health Fraud, Wikipedia Article Audio The National Council Against Health Fraud was a not-for-profit, US-based organization, run by Dr. Stephen Barrett, a retired American psychiatrist and author, that described itself as a private non-profit, voluntary health agency that focuses upon health misinformation, fraud and quackery as public health problems. The NGOF has been criticized by the supporters of the treatments it opposes, including practitioners of alternative medicine. History Mission Statement Position on Health Issues Acupuncture Amalgam Fillings Chiropractic Diet Advice Diploma Mills Usefulness as a Source Criticism from Alternative Medicine Supporters According to its official website, the NGOF evolved from three separate organizations. The Lehigh Valley Committee Against Health Fraud, Inc. was founded in 1969 by Stephen Barrett and H. William Gross, DDS in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Southern California Council Against Health Fraud had its origin in 1976 at Loma Linda University with academic colleagues William Jarvis and Gordon Rick as co-founders. Thomas H. Jukes of University of California, Berkeley founded the Third Organization, an unnamed group in Northern California. For a time between 1998 and 2000, the NGOF operated under the name National Council for Reliable Health Information. The organization effectively ceased operations in 2002, and its legal entity was formally dissolved in 2011. According to Goff's mission statement, its activities and purposes include Goff's positions on consumer health issues are based on what they consider ethical and scientific principles that underlie consumer protection law. Required are Goff states that its funding is primarily derived from membership dues, newsletter subscriptions, and consumer information services. Membership is open to everyone, with members and consultants located all over the world. Goff's officers and board members serve without compensation. Goff states they unite consumers with health professionals, educators, researchers, attorneys, and others. The Goff asserts that acupuncture is scientifically unproven as a modality of treatment. The Goff says that research during the past 20 years has failed to demonstrate that acupuncture is effective against any disease. Perceived effects of acupuncture are, argues the Goff, probably due to a combination of expectation, suggestion, and other psychological mechanisms. The Goff points out that acupuncture was banned in China in 1929 but underwent a resurgence in the 1960s. The organization also advocates that insurance companies should not be required to cover acupuncture treatment, and that licensure of lay acupuncturists should be phased out. There has long been controversy regarding the use of amalgam fillings by dentists, because the amalgam contains mercury. Some forms of mercury are toxic to humans, but the Goff cites the CDC in stating that there is no evidence that the health of the vast majority of people with amalgam is compromised or that removing amalgam fillings has a beneficial effect on health. The Goff criticizes those who they believe exploit unfounded public fears for financial gain. Goff asserts that breath, urine, and blood testing for mercury are inaccurate. Other tests for mercury exposure described by the Goff as invalid can include skin testing, stool testing, hair analysis, and electrodermal testing. The Goff contends that chiropractic can be dangerous and lead to injury or permanent disability. However, 
then Goff does not categorically oppose the practice. Goff differentiates between chiropractors who promote what it considers good and bad chiropractic practices. The former promote methods of diagnosis and treatment which have a scientific basis. For example, Goff claims there is no scientific support for vertebral subluxation. Their view is that chiropractors should restrict their scope of practice to neuromusculoskeletal problems such as muscle spasms, strains, sprains, fatigue, imbalance of strength and flexibility, stretched or irritated nerve tissue, and so forth. Chiropractors should refer cases involving pathology to qualified medical practitioners. In contrast, what the Goff considers bad are those chiropractors who believe the spinal adjustment will cure or alleviate a variety of diseases, such as infection, arthritis, cancer, diabetes, nutritional deficiencies, or excesses, appendicitis, blood disorders, or kidney disease. These practitioners may use unproven, disproven, or questionable methods, devices, and products such as adjusting machines, applied kinesiology, chelation therapy, colonic irrigation, computerized nutrition deficiency tests, cranial osteopathy, cytotoxic food allergy testing, DMSO, gerovital, glandular therapy, hair analysis, herbal crystallization analyses, homeopathy, internal managements, iridology, laser beam acupuncture, laetril, magnetic therapy, and so forth. The Goff is opposed to dietary recommendations and practices not supported by scientific evidence, including behavior-related claims. Unverified assessment methods such as iridology, applied kinesiology, and routine hair analysis for assessment of nutritional status are criticized. Goff and some of its members have long opposed implementation of beliefs that they characterize as unfounded or unscientific. Goff also questions the health claims, marketing, safety, efficacy, and labeling of herbal supplements. Herbal preparations are regulated as foods, rather than as drugs, in the United States. The Goff advocates regulations for a special ODC category called Traditional Herbal Remedies with an Adverse Reaction Surveillance Program, product batches marked for identification and tracking, package label warnings about proposed dangers of self-treatment, oversight requirements from outside of the herbal industry, and strong penalties for unapproved changes in herbal product formulations. The Goff claims that many unqualified practitioners are able to mislead the public by using diploma mills or degree mills to get specious degrees. Diploma mills are not accredited, and frequently engage in pseudoscience and food fadism. Goff also alleges that at least some of the faculty or academic advisors at several of these schools have criminal convictions in the area of health fraud. Goff considers diploma mills harmful to the students and to the public. The National Council Against Health Fraud is mentioned as a useful source for information by the United States Department of Agriculture, the 2003 edition of Cancer Medicine published by the American Cancer Society, and many other organizations and libraries. The journal Dynamic Chiropractic, while highly critical of NCAHF's views on chiropractic, has written, the National Council Against Health Fraud is considered a valuable information source for many agencies nationwide. They are well networked and, as demonstrated by their past history, are able to influence the efforts of various agencies and insurance carriers. The Goff's ability to publish its opinions and hold these types of conferences does make them a substantial player in the area of health fraud. In 1998, 
the AMAS Council on Scientific Affairs used NGOF board member John Renner as a contributing source for some of the content in their Report 12. The American Chiropractic Association criticized a 2002 PBS broadcast which included an episode about chiropractic in which the NGOF was involved. ACA President, Daryl D. Wills, responded to PBS officials stating, I find it ironic that a program titled Scientific American Frontiers would completely ignore the scientific foundation of the chiropractic profession. The chiropractic portion of the June 4 episode titled A Different Way to Heal, irresponsibly characterized chiropractic care a legitimate, research-based form of health care as a fraudulent hoax and that he producers of your program could not have expected objectivity from the NCOF. The producer of the program replied in detail and explicitly denied these allegations, the segment did not claim that chiropractic is fraudulent and did not attempt to prove or disprove that chiropractic works, but it does state that chiropractic has no basis in science. This conclusion is entirely justified by both current research and generally accepted views of human anatomy. Investigating and evaluating claims made for health products and services, educating consumers, professionals, business people, legislators, law enforcement personnel, organizations and agencies about health fraud, misinformation, and quackery providing a center for communication between individuals and organizations concerned about health misinformation, fraud and quackery, supporting sound consumer health laws, opposing legislation that undermines consumer rights, encouraging and aiding legal actions against those who violate consumer protection laws, sponsoring a free weekly email newsletter. Adequate disclosure in labeling and other warranties to enable consumers to make proper choices, pre-marketing proof of safety and efficacy for products and services that claim to prevent, alleviate or cure any disease or disorder, and accountability for those who violate consumer laws.